God. God is a woman. Nothing here says woman to me. I gotta go. Needs to start patting like a drag queen and not like an NFL player. <laughs> well, girl, we. Do you know what, God? We found the 11th commandment, and it is, Thou shalt, shalt not do drag this busted. Oh. <laughs> well, do we have doping tests available for Edmonton drag queens? That's my question. You're basically the Lance Armstrong of drag, but you have both testicles, and since you didn't talk, we can check tonight. <laughs> Did you? <laughs> Honestly, some say that God hates fags, but the feeling is mutual. <laughs> I want to say that the fags you hate me, and I do love fags, and Agata Go is one of my favorite fags. She is also a singer-songwriter, <laughs> like Allie in A Star Is Born, but don't worry about her. She's not going to make it big enough to sell out. <laughs> well, I have a new song for you. It's called God. What if God was one of us? Just a slob like one of us. That's my song. Yeah. The girls who said no. Two bitches said no to being in the show when we asked. <laughs> Two idiots. First, Sister Mary Clarence! Oh, she said no! We saw you here. Where are you? Yeah, where are you at? You said you were busy. Hi. Hi. You don't look very busy. Yeah, it, listen, listen, we have a lot of love for Sister Mary. It seemed like Sister Mary was almost maybe gonna be our drag mom. But then she left us at the bus stop. <laughs> Next up, we said no. Uh, Chelsea Horrendous. So, yes, Chelsea, are you in the house tonight? Yeah. Yes, yes. there you are. <laughs> Chelsea is always on the cutting edge. She did spooky drag before Sharon Needles. And she did Nazi drag before Donald Trump. <laughs> That's the joke. Oh, no. 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 It, it, was, it, was, it was back there. Should you want us to tell again? <laughs> <laughs> Next up is Andrew Genie here. Yes. 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 Next time you perform in a parking garage, jump. Next up, uh, speaking of Andra's mistakes, Polka, I definitely don't want this. May or may not be here tonight. Oh, I see you. Oh, hi. Hi. Watch your step. She's probably not wearing shoes. Oh. Is that barefoot clean? I like it though. It's a lot of movement. Can you do it? Can you do it? Are you here? Can you? Okay. okay, well, well, she really can, yeah. <laughs> she really can. Woo! We were also gonna make, like, a joke about how she would fake her death because Lucy Lips fakes, fakes her death and there's, like, they, you know, Harvey Steele involved and everything, but they're not here to enjoy it, so... Oh, well. So, Nova tried to sign us up for um, a Sober Saturday event? Uh, which uh, does give you the honor of Edmonton's most oblivious drag queen. Sorry, Evelyn Knox, if you're here tonight. You'll get it next year. If, if you smell weed in evolution, nine times out of ten, it's our fault, so. <laughs> Sorry. So, next in the book is Miss Mix Eden out. Uh, <laughs> we put you in the book review. Yes. So, first your name was Eden Past. Yes. And then, now it's Eden out. Yes. And it's like, you, you, you pass out sometimes. You're passed out sometimes, right? Are the next two Eden over and Eden dose, or? No? <laughs> Just joking. Our next, our next bitch is Capital Medora. Are you here? Woo! Yes! Hey, baby. We love you. Cat, uh, you are honestly one of Edmonton's best working queens, and it's kind of curious because you started out as like a Jenna Marbles tribute act. <laughs> Never change, we like it. Yeah, the, the drag used to be so shitty, we thought your name was Scat Marlo. <laughs> I haven't seen her teach underprivileged wards of the state so passionately since I watched Freedom Writers. Ooh. You are the Hillary Swank of Edmonton for me, thank you. <laughs> and yes. so next up is uh, Cat Marlo Menorah's mother, Secretia Menorah. <laughs> She is such an environmentally friendly queen. Um, and she is one of the first, one of Emerson's first bio queens, and um, also one of our most deadly biohazards. It's true, but to counteract her toxicity, she's making a commitment to reduce her carbon footprint by recycling all of her numbers! Yeah! Next 
stop gobbling dicks, I know you're here. <laughs> so, Cat Marlowe, okay, Cat Marlowe said it best when she called you everyone's favorite school shooter. <laughs> and we were wondering, we have a couple drag names for you. We got Sandy Hook or Colleen Bine. Do you like either of those? <laughs> Speaking of things that have stood the test of time despite mass protests to make them stop, Twiggy's here. Yes! So uh, we're not going to make fun of her age like everyone else because we really respect our elders and the people who came before us and paved the way for us. Twiggy has been here since Fort Edmonton Park was Fort Edmonton. Like, she's an institution. She was critically acclaimed for performing for the troops in the War of 1812. <laughs> yes, she was. And she's kept up with advancements in technology ever since she had to start painting for light bulbs instead of candles. Okay. So, Sir Majesty, is she here today? That's all we have to say on Sir Majesty. <laughs> Also is um, Shelazan LaRue, or as I like to call her, Shea Lasagna Rules, here today. Yeah, it's, we just thought it was a funny name, Shea Lasagna Rules. I, I know like can Shea pronounce her name, it's not great. Is Ruby Hyman here? Um, Ruby Hyman's in bed. That's, that, that could be a good thing. Uh, we've noticed that Ruby Hyman likes to make a lot of costumes for the drag queens. And we are sick and tired of her trying to sabotage the Edmonton drag community! Um, the next um, is um, it's actually a spread. Yeah, we needed a two-page spread to figure giant ass antlers, Bambi Dextrous. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, what does it even say? Oh yeah, uh, Disney's Bambi doesn't even have antlers. That's true. Yeah, it's but thank you for filming our show. <laughs> yeah. Just take them off when you're in the front row. <laughs> is Vanity Fair here? So Vanity Fair is very, very smart. She is a total bookworm. It's true. Um, her favorite books are high school yearbooks. Um, Vanity has a very, like, young... Little honey. What's his name again? Sunny? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Imani! Sunny is Woody Allen's daughter and wife. Her name is Lourdes the Merry Virgin. No. And I'm, I'm actually really glad you came up here because we have an excellent impression. Yeah, so um, uh, I just want to welcome everybody and just talk to everybody about the House of Homicidal and the next like 10 or 11 drag shows that they've got going on. <laughs> Jessie Hannibal. She's very similar to Iggy Azalea, actually. Yeah, she's really, really pretty, really thick, and she says the N-word, but she's not black. I live for her, though. Um, under Teen Jesus Barbie, we just have the Courtney Love of Edmonton Drag, and like, we love you. That was you! Courtney Love of Edmonton Drag. I really want to read Ivy's, though. Ivy, where are you? Yes! Uh, Ivy League. Ivy. Harvard said no. Yale said no. Brown said no. Columbia said no. Stanford said no. Princeton said no. Cornell said no. U of A barely said yes. Uh, so we're thinking you should change your name to Safety School. I also go with um, Poison Ivy League because every time you touch her, you itch. <laughs> I just kidding, girl. I have no proof. Well, there's the Westboro Baptist Church, there's extremists, but this is the problem with organized religion. God. Also, second of all, how many fucking communion wafers did you eat? <laughs> Relax, I can say that, I can say that because I'm sick. Also, I gotta go. You're an artist, and people say art is subjective, but I think we can all agree that this is fucked up. 